Faith at I, all? Yes, I'm in favour of discriminating against fetuses and in favour of adult women. Yes. I'm, she's I'm, made that point. I'm a she's huge discriminator. Yeah. On the other hand, yeah. you're Good. a racist. I've got Thank it. Thank you very much. OK, Gary. Welcome. Hello. Um, I, I suppose this question's really for Bernadette. Okay. I mean, I can see both sides of the argument in the sense that a fetus is alive. Kate isn't disputing that. What she's saying is that a woman should have the right to be able to say if she wants to carry that life to full term. I wouldn't want to trivialise abortion, but the fact remains that if a woman is raped, for instance, she's disenfranchised. She's not given the right anymore to say if she wants to carry that life to full term. In an ideal world, all fetuses could, if, if unwanted, perhaps be carried full term and then adopted or given to a loving environment. But that isn't always the case. And all the case trying to say is that women should have the right to say if they want to carry that life within them or not. That's it. So that's a, and what I'm arguing is it's a unique individual life. And whether well, I haven't argued yeah, that once. Yeah, exactly. So you you, you, admit, you admit that yeah. it is a human being. No, no. I've said that's one point of view, and I, and you're welcome to it. But it's a But that still doesn't justify view. forcing me to continue supporting it physically, yes, does it? But the reality is, you want to destroy life. No, Your argument is about destroying. And I, by giving women choice, I give them the life, of life. An unborn child because who is life a is nothing if we don't have the freedom to control to, our the own freedom bodies. to kill another human being. The freedom to control our own. Bodies. That freedom is to take the life of another human being, to inflict that. That's not freedom, because that's inflicting, inflicting your choice uh, in denying another person's choice and right to life. No, it's not freedom. We've, we've, we've talked about this. There is somebody lying in a hospital bed near here somewhere who has the same blood type as you and needs a kidney. But that but unborn child choice, could be a different your, gender. So what? That unborn child so what? had a different well, blood type. legislating to, to make it, to force people. Oh, don't worry. That's okay, don't worry. <laughs> Bit of drama in the studio yes. here. Don't worry. Um, no, um, without even talking about, some are, talking about forcing right. people to, to be donors. No, 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 they're talking about forcing people to become donors after they're dead. Nobody is talking about forcing living people to donate a kidney because that's really weird and horrible, isn't it? And it no is. one would force a living human being to donate it does blood. Does happen in some parts or, of the world? Or, I mean, yes, and, and it's yeah. horrible, and we would do anything we could to campaign against it yeah. because I shouldn't have to, you know, use my body to support someone else's life. And you know, you may define a fetus as being another life, and you're entitled to do that if you want to, Bernadette. It's a but fact, Kate. I don't know where your you know, degree's from, Bernadette, uh, uh, but I can we, assure you that this is science. Do? Is just we it's as just we as women. Science. Hashtag even science. Even animals protect their children. Oh well, no, some animals, animals don't kill their children, their children. I think it's fair many to do. say that the, the many, human many beings, animals eat their own as children. We, I mean, as I don't think we should. Beings, what we do as mothers, we protect life. We protect that child. It's an instinct, Kate. Women who have had abortions just, are, I mean, uh, yes, you can I mean, accept nonsense. that, but that's I mean, the reality. Most people don't take your view, even those the who are in favour of don't. abortion would not You're take your view. You're actually very much on your choice. own, Kate. Most people, yeah, but not the to majority. the point of full-term pregnancy. But I haven't said that. Again, you're still putting these words into my mouth. But the incubator mouth. arguments can yeah. get you in principle. But yes, but my point is, my point, term. yeah, but I've said this over and over again, that there is a point in a pregnancy where you're no longer talking about having an abortion, you're talking about inducing birth. And I think that woman who wants and to induce it? birth should be allowed to and do what, that what too. And what is it you birth then? Then you give birth to a baby, don't yeah. you? Because then it's a and baby. What, what, because what then is it before that? Then it's a fetus or an embryo. Okay, Rachel is on the phone. Does it just become human I when it's born? Exactly. I've talked That's about it. this at the beginning for like it, ten it, minutes it, 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 about the how there is no, there what is, is no single that? point. What is there, Bernadette? Don't there is no like single there. point. I talked okay. about this. Yeah. I explained this at yeah. great length. Yeah. And you can sit there and nod people and smile can, and say the same thing over and over again. So they you, can you're like analyze a broken it. record, yeah. Bernadette. Yeah. And the okay. reality a broken is record that is actively trying to take away a woman's basic human rights to bodily autonomy and, and bodily integrity. What you want to do is people's rights by killing them. What you I want, want to do to is give people right. life by life. letting them make the right choices. Yes. The choices women that free them better. and their families from poverty. I the choices that enable them to get the education that they want. Women okay. deserve better than you, Bernadette, yeah. because you, right, not okay. only are you a racist, but you are actively campaigning for legislation You've that kills the to be to Hannah Halapanava and will kill dozens more women if your unpleasant, stop. obnoxious, abusive work is allowed to continue. Um, Rachel. <laughs> um, Rachel, people deserve to hear you. Are you here? Hello, ladies. Yes. Rachel, Hello. welcome I'm to the so debate. I'm so thankful for this debate. Um, I'm a woman that's had three abortions, um, and through my experience, I... Uh, I must say that the whole thing of my choice wasn't made very clear to me. My crisis happened three times. 
it is a social thing. It's something where education plays a big part. I'm absolutely horrified that Kate should think that a woman, a woman's choice overrides the life that is in her womb. I'm absolutely horrified at that. And I really, really do regret having made the decisions I made when I was a very young woman. I was not a Christian at that time. My regret didn't come because I became a Christian. My regret became very, very, very clear as a result of giving away three healthy babies in my womb. So, Kate, please calm down and listen and give ear to what other women have to say. Thank you. Okay, Rachel. Thank you. Can I come in on that? Yes, just the, on. Yeah, you, know, you can fully on everything she said. But she, um, this point about some Rachel in particular said that the choice wasn't made clear. So you're arguing for choice, but some in that situation oh, are not even and there, there made are aware. There are women in China who are not being given the choice. And there are women uh, in India where you know the family is telling them no, you've got to have a boy. And and there are absolutely women all over the place. There are women in abusive relationships whose partner is telling them. Do you know the most likely time for a relationship to turn abusive in this country is um, is when the woman is pregnant. And, you know, that, and that can make it really difficult. And the, the, on the one hand, if a woman then decides, actually, I don't want to have this guy's kid, I think we should respect that. And on the other hand, if he's saying, I don't want to be a father, and she says, no, I want to continue with it, then I think we should respect that as well. But I'm noticing this, this, this trend, isn't there, that we've had a couple of people call in, uh, you know, who seem to agree with Bernadette, who've said, you know, I've had an abortion and then I've regretted it and I felt terrible about it. And, you know, I'm in don't denial that those women exist. Every single one of them has said, since I had my abortion, I've become a Christian. And this is what is dangerous, isn't can it? Is, ask, that, is that Christianity, three, three, like most religions, is... Can is, you make, can you make yes, this I'm into your summing up? Is that OK? So um, you've got a, two, a sort of two-minute sum up, and then Bernadette will have a two minutes, and I'll just have time to close the show. Um, so I thought I was going to get to talk last, Tim. You pr especially promised me, since Bernadette went first, that I would talk last. Absolutely last. right. Let so Bernadette talk. Let's do and Bernadette. Then we'll, I think, yeah, I think we'll continue. Right. I think no. Kate's very good at, at continuing the conversation. Do you want me to yeah. sum up? Yeah, please do. I think it's very clear here tonight from the callers. So you can sum yeah. up to this. I think it's very clear from, from listening to some of the callers, especially um, the last caller there, abortion hurts women. Um, I think it's very clear here tonight that Kate can't accept that life begins at conception. She does refer to the baby on a, a number of occasions, has referred to it, and then when uh, she forgets herself, she calls it a fetus. And just to remind Kate that a fetus is, is just a Latin word for a little one. It's part of the development of human life. And I think the reality here is that all life is sacred. It must be protected. As I spoke and continued to speak, that Ireland is one of the safest places in the world where we protect women, we protect children. And I think that the UK um, should look to Ireland as an example as to where we have a nation that respects life and protects life. And I think that eventually the tide will turn, even in the UK, um, where we will see the goalposts moving as they have been down to 12 weeks eventually. Um, the world would see that life begins at conception and should be protected from yes, that stage onwards. Kate, summing up. Um, yeah, so uh, one thing that has come up over and over again with Bernadette is this issue of what's natural. So miscarriages are natural and then the, 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 the once, once a baby's been born, then it, it has a right to life that goes up until natural death. And yet, you know, I'm pretty sure that if she got sick next week, she'd take antibiotics, which for the record are not natural. They're man-made and chemotherapy and all these other things. In actual fact, we all make choices that improve our lives that are definitely not natural. And one of those is to induce a miscarriage when we don't want to be pregnant, when our lives are at risk of being thrown upside down um, this whole and the other thing which we've come back to over and over again which Bernadette has again just said is this life is sacred and what that tells me is one thing it tells me that her views are based on her religion and she's welcome to her religion she is welcome to believe whatever she wants to believe and she's welcome to enact that in her own life and if that means that she will choose not to have an abortion or well, good for her and I hope that she feels good about it and I hope that she you know ends her life happy with the decisions that she's made but I don't share those values I'm of, a, of, of no religion, um, and there are lots of people out there who might be religious in lots of different ways, but who, for them, their religion, that, that's not covered. They don't feel like that particular verse from the Old Testament is the one that matters. They probably eat seafood as well, and they're welcome to that as well. Ultimately, if this is a religious ideal, talk about it in church, 
Don't stand on the street outside abortion clinics harassing and hounding women who may not share your values and don't have to share your values because they can have their own values. And in my experience, women are smart, intelligent, wonderful human beings who can judge their own values and make their own choices and we must allow them the freedom to do so. Thank you very much, Kate um, Smurthwaite. Thank you very much, Bernadette Smythe. And thank you to our wonderful viewers and it certainly illustrates that there's a debate here and it certainly illustrates that there are two clearly differing views. Thank you for watching.